viewer, welcome back to 54A. I've got a nice piece of Sephora on the lathe. What a friend of mine very kindly sent me. I've had it sitting on the shelf now for a good few months and thought it was about time I did something with it. So I'm just going to make a bowl, but I'm going to sort of add a bit of milliput into it and uh, see what it turns out like. Right, this is it. It's about uh, eight or nine inches in diameter. <clears throat> Going to put a nice big tenon on the end here first before I do anything else. This is actually the first time I've used any of my tools since I bought the Sorby Pro Edge sharpening equipment and I've changed the angles and on just about every chisel that I've got and I must say I'm very impressed so far putting a lovely cut on uh, it's surprising how far your angles go out when you're trying to do them freehand but uh, the Sorby Pro Edge seems to take all that out of it and gives you a perfect angle every time. And that should hold it in the jig nicely, in the chuck rather. While I've still got it mounted on the face plate, I'm just going to round it off. I've just started doing it. And that's near enough because I'm going to shape this bowl. All this is going to come off here.
I'm getting the rough shape that I'm after now. Just got to keep working on it a bit. Quite a bit more got to come off this here more than that there. If you know what I mean. Yep, that's right, five days later, <laughs> I'm still doing this bowl. Sometimes life just gets in the way of wood turning, I'm afraid, and uh, I've had other things to sort out. Still, back now. It's been that long, I've almost forgotten what I was going to do. A little, still got a bit of a flat spot there, so I've got to take the diameter of this down a little bit more and then sand this and see what I'm going to do with it. Tiny bit more. Well, I was thinking of putting some milliput on this. I didn't realise just how much pattern there is on this piece of wood and I don't really want to upset the, the apple cart by putting milliput on. As good as milliput is, I don't think this is the piece that calls for it. So maybe I'll just change my ideas a bit. Got it. Sanding now. Yeah, that doesn't take long. Lovely piece of wood. Very similar uh, to olive. The looks of it and the way it turns. Now a lot of people say, well, one or two people say, ask, why do I flatten this face off when I'm going to hollow it out anyway? Well, most turners will tell you, it's always nice to have a nice flat surface to present the tool to. If it's all uneven and you're going like this, and it just makes the life, makes the job a lot harder. So, just want a bit more off there, another skim, and I'll have a nice surface to work on.
Right, that's the inside hollowed out and it's about ready for sanding now. So I shall get on with the boring bit. Well, boring to you. I quite like sanding. Surprising when you're sanding, you can feel if you've left a little ridge, and I have left a little ridge, so I'm just going to get rid of that first. That's better. If it's not as good as I can get it, it's not good enough. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's as good as I can do. Right, I'm going to put some little feet on this. Just little bun feet, I think. So, uh, I want three. I've got an indexing system on the lathe. So I've just locked it in place. And I'm just going to roughly put a mark on the top resting my pencil on the chuck to about where I, I want to put the little foot let's make a little mark there and then I'll move it round just lock that in place top a little mark there just so I can see it to put a little hole in and move it around again just lock it in place and another one approximately there that's it that gives me three little dots where I'm going to put the the feet and there's the one little dot there's the second and up there it's the third Found this piece of you, and um, I'm just sure I'm just uh, rounding it off with a spindle roughing gouge, which I've reprofiled on the Sorby Pro Edge, and uh, it's brilliant. Getting some lovely shavings off it.
Well, there's one, two to go. Right, I've got the holes drilled for the little feet. I'm going to take the tenon off now, just round it off a bit. Uh, don't want it to be a flat bottom because it's got the feet on it. I'm going quite gently because I've got it set in some little button jaws. You can't quite uh, make that out on this camera. There you are. Nearly there. I'll just finish it off with a scraper, I think. Okay, that's all done nicely blended in rounded off all I've got to do now is stick the feet on I was gonna say stick my balls on but uh, <laughs> I won't bother and they fit in the hole like so bit of glue three of them and that should be okay I'll show you the finished article when I've done it and there's the finished thing three little bum feet beautiful piece of wood Lovely nice knot in it there. All finished. With Turner's wood products, uh, Montan wax and microcrystalline wax. And uh, I like that. It's a bit different, isn't it? Hope you like it as well. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye now.